Mac T here and I am back with another oil additive video. This time it is the Rizalon 710 and uh, if you just look at the oil cap they're making a play on words. If you turn it over it says 710 otherwise you turn it the other way it says oil. So that's where they get the 710 from. It is actually from the oil cap. But anyway uh, I went ahead and I bought this stuff at the Blaine's Farm and Fleet Stores for $3.99. It's by far the cheapest product that I bought as far as oil additives. The oil lab basically said that, uh, hey, it's somewhat similar to the STP oil additive they tested and it's just too thick to determine the viscosity. This stuff is like, my gosh, it's so thick it hardly even pours if it's cold, which is another word of caution. But anyway, uh, the TBN on had very little additives to it. Uh, it just came out to a 0 0.4, which is virtually nothing in the scope of things when you're adding this thing to your oil. So don't think it's giving you anything extra at all. Now, as far as what it had in it, we had some aluminum of zero. That's right. No aluminum was in it. No cr chromium was at one and the iron was at one the copper was at one the lead was at two which is you know within universal standards but you know i don't know where they're getting the lead at tin was zero the molybdenum was at two nickel was at zero manganese was one silver was zero titanium was one potassium was at three parts per million. Boron was at four. It's probably the, one of the largest additives in the whole thing. Silicon was at two. Sodium was one. Calcium was at a grand total of four. Not much there at all. Magnesium was three. Phosphorus was one. And zinc was four with barium coming in at a big whopping zero. So, Going on to it, we have a flash point of 415 uh, degrees, which is very close to what I got off of the uh, chemical status sheet from uh, Rizalon, and uh, it came in at 410, which is nothing big. Uh, they're pretty close together, so the laboratory pretty much matched what they said. The viscosity is outrageous, folks. 4,173 three for the CST viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius. Holy cow. Uh, that is some thick stuff. That's why they couldn't read it in the testing. And then the CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius was 415. Now this is some pretty serious stuff as far as the viscosity goes. Uh, when you mix this with your oil, holy cow. The TBN, since there are virtually no additives to it, came out to a 0 0.4. That's right, nothing to contribute really to your oil and it can practically bring it down in a volume right uh, if you add it to your oil. Now as far as the performance of the oil treatment, uh, they're not making any big claims here folks. They're basically saying that this oil will increase the viscosity of your oil in your crankcase. Now the whole point is to add more cushion between the bearings and the pistons and, and, and everything else, so the moving components within the internal combustion engine, so that it doesn't make as much noise. In other words, no metal on metal slapping. The reason that it works like this is because the film is extra thick and it silences everything down. It doesn't mean that your engine's running any better. They're saying, yeah, you might get increased horsepower. Sure you do, because now you don't have all the blow-by in the pistons because the oil's so thick. Now it's making somewhat of a seal for you. So what this oil really does say it does is thickens the oil. That's all it does. It is not doing anything else for your engine because there is nothing in it to do anything else. So, you know, there's nothing to say you can't just take a grease gun and squirt a bunch of grease in your engine. It would probably be almost the same comparison in that aspect. But uh, that's their data sheet for their high-performance oil treatment. I don't know if there's any one of you out there that would even consider putting this in a high-performance engine, to tell you the truth. So uh, I'm going to say truth and disclosure there. 
I doubt that is going to be something anybody does. Maybe some of you race car folks could get a hold of me in Mac T Garage on Facebook or Mac T Ford Edge and let me know what you think on that in, in the Facebook groups. But uh, holy cow, I can't see that happening. A little bit on the safety data sheet. Uh, you can get a hold of these folks over there in uh, Holly, Michigan. That's right. Yeah, they got their phone number and everything else there if you want to give them a jingle to see if you get more information on them. But basically, uh, not much there other than that. Uh, what is it made of? I can't really tell you what it is other than it is a hydro-treated heavy paraffinitic oil, which tells me that it is almost like a conventional oil that you're adding to whatever oil you have. Uh, it's got some ethylene, uh, propylene, diene, uh, ter uh, ter polymer in it and uh, it's mostly 50% or more of the uh, hydro treated para heavy paraffinitic uh, with less than 10% of the other chemical. So uh, as far as that goes, basically I think you're d doing nothing more than dumping a group two probably. I doubt it's a group three uh, oil in there. It might even be just a conventional oil. Uh, but you know, I'm, they're not putting much effort into it. It's pretty cheap. So we're not going to say we're getting a high quality oil out of the deal because all we're doing is making the viscosity thicker for the oil. That's really the whole point behind this oil is to make it very, very, very thick. That way uh, it can basically do what it has to do and that's quiet the engine down. Uh, like I said, it is one of the very cheapest additives that I did buy off the shelf at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Uh, vis viscosity, again, the viscosity was so thick the laboratory equipment was not set up to measure it so they didn't run any further testing on it. Uh, one thing I can say about Rizlon is that they did not overstate their claims per se. Uh, they, they say it will thicken the oil, they say it will add more cushioning for helping lubricate and form a film on engine parts. That's basically what it does and uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, as far as any uh, information on the group of oil it is, I'm going to, like I said before, I doubt it's even a three. And I'm thinking I'm pushing it by saying it's a group two oil. So, you know, use it at your own uh, <laughs> detriment as far as whatever you're going to be doing. But uh, basically my take on this, if you're using this stuff in your engine, uh, that it's assumed that you are trying to extend the last RPMs of its life before you junk it or replace the engine that you're currently using. Uh, there's no other reason to use this stuff, folks. You're thinking, well, it's clacking, it's banging, I'll try this. Last ditch effort. Uh, this is not a tune-up in a can. This is, this is nothing more than trying to make the engine run just a couple more miles that we can get out of it so if you got that old beater that is on its last legs I guess if you want to try to give it a little more oomph and a little more you know lifespan to it then this might be something you'd use uh, maybe you could use it for putting parts together or something but there's better quality oils you can use for that too so uh, I, I wouldn't say there's much use for this uh, this Rizalon other than the fact that they got three dollars and ninety nine cents out of my pocketbook for me to test this and uh, basically tell you all what's in it. So that being said, there's not much else to say about this stuff because it was a boring test. That's right. It was so boring I almost fell asleep doing it. But uh, that's it. That's all there is to this one, folks. Uh, I have more testing coming. I have more additives. I got some uh, other things that I have been testing. Um, I do have the uh, Lubrilon and I have uh, the uh, Liquid Molly additive and everything else that I will be coming up with and uh, starting on that series. I also have SN Plus oils that I've been testing in my vehicle and also virgin oil samples that you will be seeing there too. So I uh, look forward to doing more of these as I have already built them up so I'm going to start putting them out here pretty quick on a frequent basis to get everything cleaned up and uh, get those testing sheets up on MacTGarage.com for all my used oil analysis, the oil additives and everything else. 
once I get those up, I'll let everybody know in the Facebook group and everything else on Mac T Ford Edge Face Facebook group and also Mac T Garage on Facebook. That's where you can always get a hold of me. So don't don't be afraid. Join up and uh, come check it all out. But that being said, my feet at the floor today. I'm having a great day. And I, of course, uh, want you guys to all subscribe to this YouTube channel. And, uh, hey, Band of One's got some great music, and I want you all to listen to that, along with Mercy Grill tossing a couple of one-liners at you. Thank you for watching MacT's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Grill production.